what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back some more jojo's bizarre adventure we're gonna be tackling two more episodes today hope you guys are enjoying the series on the channel man i really do appreciate you guys for coming through every time and watching my reaction to this series i'm enjoying it one of the weirdest animes i've ever watched but at the same time it's uh, it's so funny and at the same time there's so much lore to it it's a great story funny story deep story you know one of the most unique animes that i've ever watched you already heard me talk about the color palette of this anime i really like it uh very colorful anime man and i love it anyways our boy joseph is in trouble you know he's in trouble because now he got these things he has to go train you know what i'm saying hopefully he gets good enough at Amon so that he can take out these guys because these guys they're no joke these three guys that just came out these three pillar men look like they were the boss i wouldn't even like to know if there was somebody else that was the boss over them like i don't even want to know that but you know it's just so awesome to see but anyways we're gonna jump in see what this is all about two more episodes today episodes i think it's 16 and 17 so let's jump in and i will see you guys for the review all right here we go another couple of episodes um 16 and 17 of jojo's bizarre adventure man i am loving this series it's so fun. It's such a fun thing to do. It says it's like an adventure. It's like you're actually going on an adventure as a viewer of the series. It's kind of like it's happening all over the world. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, okay, what country is next? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like it's like a history lesson, too, because they include so much history from you know what I'm saying, from history. <laughs> they include so much stuff that we know about in real life. Of course, they're going to embellish a little bit, you know, exaggerate a little bit on certain things, build on it, um, and present it to us, but nonetheless, still very enjoyable, right? So Lisa Lisa is a babe, okay? She is a babe. I'm surprised that a lot of people don't talk about her because it's, it's the first time I've ever heard of her. To be honest, I've never heard, I've never seen anybody put her on a, on like a waifu tier list. You know what I'm saying? For all of us that are, that are men of culture, <laughs> you know, um, I've never heard of her before. So I, I'm surprised. I mean, unless she, unless she dies. Now that I think about that, that could be a possibility why people don't really talk about her. Because, I mean, JoJo being so popular, you would think that, I mean, she is exception. She, I mean, by far, she is the prettiest woman that I've seen on the show so far. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more that are probably maybe even look better than her. But right now, due to the fact that she trained one of the Joe stars, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, Hin Hamon, she's a Hamon um, teacher, you know what I'm saying? So you would think that she would get some sort of respect in the community, I've at least heard of her. Like, I've heard of so many others from other animes that I don't really watch. You know what I'm, I mean, boy, Hancock is just, you know what I mean? <laughs> come on now. Um, Irza or Urza? Urza, Urza, whoever you want to call it, man. Uh, ooh, high school. Uh, what is it? High school DXD, I think it is. Um, I don't remember her name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. They're always like, you know, I probably named top three right there. You know what I'm saying? That always is like up in the upper echelons of waifus, of, you know, weebs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um... But anyways, um, I love it, man. I love it. I'm, well, he didn't kill BC, Benisi. I, I, I do not know what that guy's name is. Benisi, Ebenisi, Ebi, Ebi, any BC. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't remember his name. 
Let me see if I can catch it. Hold on. Let me see if I catch it, man. You know, let me see if I catch his name real quick. So see if, it's just that I've, I haven't really said his name. So... Okay, so I know he said his name a couple of times. It's just that I can't remember. I know it has something to do with what I've been saying. Man was walking on spikes, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, <it's not laughs> walking on spikes like it's nothing, man. Okay, so it's Ed SCDC. SCD. <laughs> it's SCDC, okay? SC. SCDC. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, I remember I remember somebody saying to me that um the creator of the series named the characters after like bands and stuff like that. So there's a band called ACDC, a rock band, right? Called ACDC. But it's not spelled like that. It's like SCDC, so I never really picked up on it. But that's crazy. Anyways, ACDC came out i don't think he he's not dead obviously he's not dead these guys have survived for a while so maybe they're parasites in some way and that's the reason why they just they feed until they you know take you know back their full form or whatever i don't know but as i said it looks like he latched himself to joe to um to joseph in some way or another right so um like a parasite kind of but he hasn't noticed so i guess we're going to get to see how that plays out in some fashion or way how he's going to bring himself back we're going to get to see that but the joy of these two episodes was me meeting lisa lisa <laughs> for real for real you know what i mean that training that they did was pretty cool too um but anyways, man, I don't have much to say here. Just, you know, we're enjoying the series. You guys are enjoying the reactions. So make sure you leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. And as always, man, I will catch you guys next time for some more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Love you guys, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.